Hi, I'm Eric Paulson. This is John Jared Barr, and he's from Iowa visiting for our jiu-jitsu camp. What we're going to start with today is uh, a triangle. It's called an arm triangle. You have an arm under triangle. You have an arm over triangle. This is from a back swim or a back weave into the reverse triangle, shoulder triangle. We're going to start by coming into the guard and working our pass. When we pass, we're going to keep our other foot. We're going to do a knee slide pass, but we're going to keep our other foot under our butt so he can't captivate my leg. And I'm going to put this here like this and fall back. I immediately pull the leg. And as I do that, look, this arm weaves around the head. I want to get it as deep as I can. So I give a little adjustment. Then I dismount and I sit out and then I lift. And that's my finish. So once you're here, your knee comes up. So I don't want him to be able to captivate this leg. So by keeping this foot under my butt, there's no way the foot's available. And then you weave and then come under and then you sit out. And that's, you make them hold your weight. So when you pass, this is a fast pass. Up. Make sure he's flat, readjust, sit out, and then lift. Make him hold your weight. The second attack is from side control when I twist to low body, and then I back weave his arm. So from here, I'm just going to go here like I'm going to turn, and then I'm just going to weave this backwards. Again, you can lift it, or you can walk it, inty wincy spider, or you chop broccoli. Chopping broccoli. Now you grab, and now I need to get over him. So what I like to do is just knee slide immediately, keeping my feet here, same as the last one. Sit out and lift. Side control. So I'm here. So I immediately turn to low body, and then I fake and I come back. Then I just knee slide through, we sit out and lift, and that's it. Go through, fake like you're going to turn here, and then you come back, and you walk. The next is north and south. Every time I'm in north and south, you're going to get underhooks or an overhook. So some people like to keep their hands like this. That's fine. That's your overhook. Now I just back weave, swoop, walk, knee slide, nice and tight, make him hold my weight. Look at his hands. So I gotta keep my head down to prevent his legs from coming in. Not good, go back. So what I do right here, all I do is I just bring my arm over. Now I just back spin, walk. Just remember this, if he's so anxious, a lot of people will turn into you. And this will give you the dars. So in order for me to finish this lock, when I eat too into spider, I, I need him to be flat on his back. Then I hold, then this will allow me to jump over and sit out and previous video I've done this one already but we're going to do it again and this is when you're tired it takes no effort at all your, your legs will always be like this if he starts to push why escape see I switch my leg so for here and he's defending no big deal right but if he starts a why escape like other way like that see not good for me so the key for me to stop it from here is when he wide escapes, I just switch my legs. When you're in Kazuri Keza, what you're going to do is you're going to step over. And you're going to dig this in a little bit just to get him uncomfortable. So he uses this hand to push it off. Then I'm going to bring it back and chop broccoli, knee slide, sit out, and finish. Kazuri Keza, step over the head. Right here. That's it. Go. Bang. Knee slide, sit out, and lift. Okay, so in the Kazuri 
Sometimes what happens is we step over. So I step over here, and instead of pushing, he pulls with the other hand. Yeah, they'll pull. He just strapped his own arm. So now I go for this. But what's going to happen, he's going to bridge. So I just weave it backwards, and I get the same move. Even from here, from this position here, when I'm like this, this thumb pulls, and this hand punches. Don't, just be careful of the accidental elbow to his nose. Now he bridges his look at. So the V-lock will allow him to bridge like this and move it. And then that's why we take our elbow and we bring it back and come here. You can pull him back up to a three-quarter slicer, which is just your body weight, or watch deep to the darsh. And if not, flatten them out here, punch it deep, knee slide over, sit out hard, and then lift. So this last one, like I said, the weave comes from this here. So if I step here and he pulls it off, then look, I always go for this lock, sorry. Even here, I could still easily finish it here by sliding my chest down. But he bridges and straightens his arm, just let it go, whoop, there it is. Knee slide, come over here, sit out, bang. One thing I'd like to show is the Waki Gatami, and the Waki Gatami comes from this. This is a great flow that you should know from this position. Number one is you go here, and you punch. Number one, you slide. He starts to straighten his arm. You switch your hands. Now you come to here, and you come to here, just like this, and you're attempting to do this. Now, the first one is just the bone, one. Number two is deep, and he loves this one. And the reason you pinch his nose is because all your weight's in his mouth, so he can't breathe, so you just pinch the nose. <laughs> but uh, Jared's super scared of the dark, so a lot of times here I just go like this, and he freaks out. He panics. <laughs> so this is the flow. You punch one. Okay. You stick. So I go here. Bang. Number two, I loop. Number three, I go here. And then I bring my elbow over, and this is a walkie to tell me. And I come back to here. One. Two. Three. He pushes. Elbow over. And then bring this back. Jared has tons of air in his joints sometimes. It's weird. So when you put this on, <laughs> his joints sometimes release that air. We mistake it for a rip or a break, but it's actually just air leaving his joint like that. Thank you.